All right, my name is Michael McGee. I'm going to be giving you guys a financial analysis for the years 2008-2009 for Savannah Schools Federal Credit Union. All right, our presentation outline. Uh, we're going to go over the overview of the credit union. We're going to look at the economic environment for 2008-2009. We're going to see some major findings from the financial analysis. Um, we're going to look at profitability, employee productivity, asset quality, capital adequacy, asset liabil liability management, and a summary of the financial analysis. So the credit union overview it is located in Savannah, Georgia. Um, they have, oh, they have uh, as of 12-31-2009, they have about $25.5 million of assets. Um, they have nine full-time employees. And um, to be a member there, you have to um, be employed or an immediate family member of uh, Savannah Chatham County Public School System, Savannah Technical College, and the Oatland Island Center. Um, the credit union commenced business in 1954. Um, some of the credit products offered are credit cards, um, vehicle loans, that would be like auto, RV, boat, um, mortgages first and second, and personal loans from up to $1,500. So a little bit about the economic environment in 2008 and 2009. Um, uh, several financial institutions failed. It was a credit crisis. Some people say it's the worst recession we've had since the Great Depression um, in 29. Um, prevailing interest rates plummeted for the, to the lowest we've seen in 25 years. Um, unemployment increased to 10%. Um, it's at like 3.8% now, so that'll give you a little bit of context there. Uh, the housing market uh, values fell by 30%, and delinquencies and defaults for credit unions increased as well as foreclosures hit record highs. So major findings for profitability for 2008-2009, it was about average for both years. Um, they booked a loss in both years, but um, it's because of their higher cost of funds, and we'll get into that in just a second. Asset quality was excellent for the year 2008 and 2009. Um, asset composition in 2008, about 45% of their assets um, were um, represented and then, oh, and 40% in 2009. And their loan portfolio quality was um, very good. I'm not very good, it was good for both years in 2008 and 2009. Uh, profitability continued. Uh, they booked a loss for 2008 and 2009. It was because of their higher cost of funds. Um, and it was about average for their peer group. So explained, um, it was about average for both years. They had a higher, um, while their yield on, av on its average loan size was higher, and 85% of their peers, its cost of funds was uh, about, it was way worse at 85% or more than 85% of their peers. That's why they were booking losses for both years. Um, and we see that there. So return on assets. Um, in 2008, they lost 36 cents for every $100 loaned out while their peers made 30 cents. Um, well, their per percentile rank was 55%, which was about average. Um, in 2009, we see that they lost 18 cents for every hundred dollars loaned out while their peers lost 13 cents and their percentile rank was 41 percent they were about average for both years although they booked losses um, it was because of that higher cost of funds that we talked about all right so employee productivity it was below average for 2008 and 2009 um, some of the major factors were the average loan size was about two-thirds of its peers which you know loans loans are the main way that credit unions make money um, 45% uh, in 2008 and 40% in 2009 were some of its available funds lent out. Yeah. So the average loan balance, we're going to see is $3,000 less than their peers. In 2008, our credit union was, six, was lending out an average loan balance of $6,446, while their peers were lending out $9,274. Our percentile rank is 23%, which is very, very bad for the year 2008. 2009, it gets worse. Um, the credit unions uh, lend out $6,035, while the peers lend out $9,342, putting our percentile rank at 19%, which was very bad and which was also, uh, hurting our profits. So salary and benefits and full-time employees. In 2008, they're paying their employees about $2,000 more than their peers. Uh, they had nine full-time employees, putting their percentile rank at 65%, which is worse than their peers. This is also um, hurting their profits. In 2009, um, we see the similar picture. Uh, they're also paying 
their employees about $2,000 more than their peers are paying their employees, which puts their percentile rank at 61%. So the asset quality was excellent for both years, 2008 and 2009. Um, like I said before, the, the composition of the uh, loans was about 45% in 2008 and 40% in 2009. Uh, the portfolio quality for both years was good compared to its peers. Um, in 2009, the um, quality of the loan portfolios for their peers weakened while um, SSUs uh, improved. Um, delinquent loans to total loans. In 2008, the credit unions delinquent loans to total loans was uh, about 0.85% while the peer average was 1.58%. Uh, the percentile rank was 37%. This is much better than the peer group. Um, and in 2009, the credit unions was 0.6%, while the peer average was 1.78%, putting the percentile rank at 26%. This is much better than their peers. Um, their delinquent loans are lower, um, and we'll see the charge-off rate is high. Yeah, we'll see the charge-off rate is high for 2008 um, and 2009 a little bit. Um, th that means the management is not really putting up with uh, iffy loans or bad loans. They're not really taking any chances on any loans. Uh, in 2008, the charge-off to total average loans was 1.42%, while the peer average was 0.66%, uh, putting the percentile rank at 88%, which means like 12% of credit unions were charging off uh, loans at a higher rate. In 2009, um, it decreases to 0.87%, while the peer average increases to 0.81%, putting the percentile rank at 67%, which is still much better than their peers. So capital adequacy for 2008. In 2009 was average um, for both years. Um, it was adequate to support uh, its loan portfolio and protect uh, itself from any unforeseen losses. So net worth to total assets was average for both years. Uh, in 2008 it was like 13.62% while the peer average was 14.11%, putting the percentile rank at 51%. Um, in 2009 the credit union's percent was 13.19% while the peer average was 12.86% putting the percentile rank at 52%, so nothing really noteworthy here, just average for the peer group. So total delinquent loans to net worth, um, these numbers are very good. In 2008, the credit union's percent was 2.87%, while the peer average was 8.09%, putting the percentile rank at 31%. This is much better than the peer group. Um, that means that they're, delinquent, they're not having as many delinquent loans uh, as their um, competitors. In 2009, uh, we see a similar picture. Um, while the peer average increases, ours decreases, which is uh, noteworthy. Um, the credit union's percent was 1.89%, while the peer average was 9.52%, lowering the percentile rank to 22%. Asset liability management uh, needs to be improved over the coming years. Uh, in 2009, SSU's uh, management tried to reconfigure some of its assets and liabilities to, pro over, or to protect itself or it, I'm sorry, to um, in anticipation of a rise in interest rates. Um, this uh, caused them to kind of overprotect itself and hurt their profits. Um, if they, you know, because if they could have lent out more loans, they could have made more money. So their asset and liability management, net long term assets and total assets, uh, it was about average for both years. Um, in 2008, it was 16.99%. While the peer average was 18.73%, putting their percentile rank at 51%. And it's similar in 2009, um, it, their percentage was 15.37%, while the peer average was 18.23%, putting their percentile rank at 46% for the um, year 2009. Now, cash and short-term investments, this is noteworthy. Um, in 2008, their credit union's percent was 40.99%, and their peer average was 25.1%. So they're sitting on a lot of cash, they're not loaning out a, a lot of money, and this is they're, they're just sitting on money that they could you know, profit from. In 2009, um, it gets worse. The credit union sits on uh, about 51.49% of its cash and short-term investments, while peers are sitting on about 26.69%, putting their percentile rank at 95%. That means 5% more or only 5% of credit unions are sitting on more cash and short-term investments in the year 2009. Core deposits to total shares and borrowers is a similar story. In 2008, 33.45%, while the peer average is 56.5%. The credit union percentile rank is 13%, so they're doing really bad in 2008. In 2009, we see a similar picture. 
Uh, the credit union has 33.14% of core deposits to total shares and borrowings, while the peer average is about 56.99%, putting the percentile rank at 12%, which is pretty bad. Now, total loans and total assets um, in 2008 and 2009 were worse than their peers. Um, the credit union's percent was 46.03% in 2008, and their peer, their peer average for 2008 was 58.28%, putting the percentile rank at 22%. They're not lending out enough loans. Um, in 2009, we see a similar picture. The credit union's uh, percent was 41.22%, while the peer average was 54.63%, putting the percentile rank at 21%. So a summary of the major findings. Profitability was about average for the years 2008, 2009. They, all that they booked losses was because of that higher cost of funds that we talked about. Asset quality was uh, excellent for both years. Asset composition loans represented about half of its assets, 45% in 2008 and 40% in 2009. Loan portfolio quality, uh, it, was, it was pretty good compared to their peers. Continued capital adequacy was, uh, was about average for, uh, compared to their peers, but um, their asset liability management needs work um, in the coming years. Uh, all the, you know, we talked about how they reconfigure, reconfigured some of its assets and liabilities to um, kind of benefit from an anticipated rise in, in interest rates, which hurt their profits because they overprotected itself because they didn't lend out as much loans and they were sitting on a lot of, of short-term cash and investments. And that is my presentation.